Hi guys, this is Shiva. Welcome to database testing and uh, SQL complex scenarios. Subscribe for more videos and click bell icon to get real time notifications after uploading the videos. Okay, so today we are going to discuss about identify the customer who have purchased same product maximum number of times. So this is my problem statement. So identify the customer who have purchased same product maximum number of times and display identified customer details along with product details excluding other products purchased by the same customer right so involves uh, so this will uh, go through when we are uh, writing the query so let me show you the list, let me explain the same scenario again using the tables See there are two tables, one is customer table and another one is order table. So whenever the customer place the order, the details will be stored in the orders table. So this is what my uh, orders table. So order tables order table contains there are eight records. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So um, this the scenario is identify the customer who have purchased same product maximum number of times right so if for example the customer id 1 right so um, so the customer id 1 who have purchased the same product smartwatch 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 thrice okay and the the same customer id 1 purchased led tv once and when you see the customer id 2 that customer ID 2 have purchased LED TV twice and smart smartwatch twice. So, as per our scenario, identify the customer who have purchased the same product. Which means, I am not going to, I am not going to bother about the other customers. So, which customer have purchased the same product? Which means. Um, when you see the customer 1 who have purchased the same product twice, but when you see the customer 2 he has purchased LED TV twice, smart watch twice. So I am not going to bother about now the customer ID 2, right. So I am going to, I want to display the customer ID uh, 1 because we have purchased smart watch, but at same time I do not want to display this LED TV. This is what my scenario is. because. The customer given who have purchased LED TV uh, also in this cart, right? So I don't want to display this LED cart. I want to display the product which is maximum. I don't want to display this LED TV. Also, when you see customer two, he has purchased same different products, right? So four times he has purchased, but I'm not worrying about the maximum, right? So I'm worrying about the same product which is maximum. That is customer ID who have purchased the same product smartwatch thrice ok so uh, how we can start writing the query okay, first let me write uh, I want to get which is maximum so first of all whenever you identified the query is a sub query you need to find the maximum value first right so uh, I want to display three first so then I will take a uh, uh, I need to find the customer ID also. I need to find that product also. So um, you can start with select count star from. Um, so this data is available in orders table, right? So orders wo group by. So I want to group let me write the query then explain so customer id so um, that's fine customer id and product name right so when you execute this query you will get all two three two one so i want to get max of so automatically you will get max count of maximum value is 3 so when you execute the order table why i am grouping the this customer id and product name see here 
when you group a customer id and product name so all the unique values of this group see one smartwatch one smartwatch one smartwatch so this is considered as one group and two smartwatch two smartwatch so this is considered as one group and two led tv and two led tv this is considered as one group so this is one group so totally one two three there are four groups right so there are four groups among that four groups see for example if you are not applying maximum you will get all the four groups yeah? so remove the um, okay remove this bracket so you will get all the four groups two three two so there are two two groups and one one group and this is maximum so you will get if you write um, maximum so you will get that value okay this is the first step okay now let me write a query for getting the first product okay so um, select product name from orders so I can use the same query orders okay group by so when you write um, having cone star so star in the sense it will take uh, that any value okay. so um, no need to give the column value when you give star because when you are we are not equating we are just matching the count value so this this sub query will give you three then when you group again custom id and product name which is equal to three so that automatically you will get that product name so you will get the smartwatch this is what we expected right so the product smartwatch we got okay so now i want customer detail simple you can use the same query to get customer id okay when you execute this you will get that customer when you see, when you go to orders now the same you will get because there is a similar one right so um, now because you know the same the query is going to again three then when if it is matches to three with that outer query because we are applying the same right so anyhow when you are going to group by customer id and product name again you will get the three groups one two three so that which will get maximum of three so the this three that outer query inner query three and outer query three will matches with the customer id the same logic is applicable applicable to this product name also okay now let me write query to get customer details along with the product details right so um, i will write select so here i want to write uh, customer id so here the join is going to involve so c dot customer id and c dot customer name and o dot product name from customer c so let me show you the customer table also so that you will get it right so customer id customer name city email mobile number and so these are the customer table so um, now we are going to join this customer id with the order table customer id okay so customer id customer c then order so order so var c dot so here um, you will get the join condition c dot customer id equal to o dot customer id and so what i want to do is first um, i want to filter one condition is var c dot customer id in so this this um, c 
say dot customer id in okay so um, already we have given where right so this query is not required customer id in so anyhow we got the customer id right so this query will match us here and one more condition we need to give right so here i will give and okay we go dot product name so i don't want to um so i don't want to exclude so i don't want to include other products purchased by the same customer so now when you execute this you will get other products also now i want to remove this led tv so now what i want to do is i want to add one more condition see here so this is your query right so i want to add one more condition using and okay so um i want to remove order dot product name right so when you give product name in anyway we have the query for it so you can copy paste your query so that query is this is your query so you can copy and paste so um let me check where it is going wrong so um okay to give you that semicolon when you execute this you will get only this details when you use distinct you can remove the duplicate rows in the result set so um what we have done is from the order table we have take we have identified the first pr uh, the product which has maximum then we identify the customer who have purchased the same product which is maximum then we have uh, we have used these two independent sub queries as a condition in your join right so we have used the nested aggregate function then group by with two columns then having then um, we have used two independent sub query in the and and class right so this is the way you can able to write the query so the scenario is we have done the same i need the customer who have purchased the same product maximum number of times that is smart watch and we have displayed the customer details also then we have removed the details of the other products which is purchased by the same customer so this is going to this is involved one join with the two levels of sub queries and nested aggregate function also so these things we have uh, applied in other uh, scenario here so in next we will see one more complex scenario i hope you like this video help others by subscribe like and share this video thanks for watching guys